Hello, I am Reeve, and this is the Baroque LP. I have a partner here with me. Hey there, I'm Eating Burger, and we're gonna play a video game. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm just gonna enter my name, just because it fits. Yeah, that's, that's a good, pretty good plan. Um, and I hear, I hear this game has a really elaborate plot that's really complex and difficult to follow. His EEG readings are moving fast. Well, let's see here. Increase the barbiturate sedative. Hmm. I'm getting changes in sections E4, T4, and the multiple temperance wave. Displaying pattern with MRI. Gotta stay quiet during the cutscenes. Because it's important techno babble that you absolutely no, know everything is... about. Well, I mean, this is really important information. This is going to come back later, let me tell you. I mean, <laughs> they're going to tie all this in. It's going to be great. Do you enjoy plot? Because that's about it. Mm -hmm. yeah, now we're that's... in the game, and we're just going to walk around a little bit and talk to the folks around here. Well, after I change my camera settings, because it's backwards by default. <sighs> anyway, this game has a odd development history. Supposed to it originally came out for the Sega Saturn, and because, you know, the Saturn doesn't sell well at all, it came out again on the PS1, which was a, like a, an enhanced remake. Then this full 3D version came out for the PS2 and Wii, and now it's on iOS. So, so you could say that this game's been around, eh? N nudge, w wink, wink, no, no. That's me killing myself. Right. My eyes keep twitching and it won't stop. We'll learn more about these fine folks later on, but for now they don't really have anything to say to us. Go to the neuro tower. They just want us to go to this place called the Neuro Tower? They have pretty neat designs at least. That guy had like a huge neck. <laughs> You're an eyesore. Please leave. And giant anime things strapped to their backs, my god. And nonchalantly cussing. It's great. Do you like giant guns? Dude, the giant guns are pretty anime, let me tell you. I have... my god. It seems you have difficulty speaking. Well, even though you are flawed... I consider myself flawless, thank you very much. Is your memory damaged well, of, of course our me protagonist needs amnesia. I mean, come on now. Come on now. Do you understand? Head for the bottom floor of the Neuro Tower. That is your mission. That's all I have to do? Just climb some stairs. Whoa! We do get a giant anime gun! This is great! Also, the part that looks like it goes in your arm, that's the front of it. There is meaning. Uh -huh. Yep. So, is most of the combat in this game going to be ranged, or what? Well, although we get a giant freaking gun, we barely get to use it. It is for one purpose, and we, it only gets five shots. What? What? You just... Oh, so you use it to kill bosses, I'm gonna guess. Pretty much. This is a roguelike, so it has a lot of elements that you may or may not be familiar with. But it also has some of its own unique elements. For example, vitality always constantly decreases. If you run out of vitality, your health decreases. You my voice? So it's sort of like food. I mean, you just have to eat stuff to recover your vitality, right? And, then... and those are flying fish. Well, yeah. And I'm punching oh. them to death. You're punching them to death. Um, so is the gun just... Can you use it anytime you want? Or... Anytime you want, but if you run out of shots, you can't use it for the perfect it's meant for. Now we got a sword. It's called the... I, I, you probably didn't see that there because I was a little fast on the uptake, but it's called the Life Sword, and it, um, it has three attack, and it gives us an extra 30 health. Those numbers are meaningless to me. I have no idea what 30 health even is in the grand scheme of things, but that's okay. The point of this game is to get to the bottom of the Neuro Tower, obviously, but... One thing that's nice about it, unlike many roguelikes, is that every time you go down a floor, you get to save. That's... that's so, so no permadeath, then, I take it. In fact, death is not even really a thing. You'll see that s pretty soon, I think. Although well, we're not going to be dying already. here. Man, you're not very good at this game. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry for that. Sorry for that. <laughs> I'm actually pretty decent at it, but um, it does get kind of tough later on. 
the, the combat seems like it's kind of janky. Uh, there's no lock on, which it, and there's no block, so. It, it seems kind of awkward. Wait, so does those guns like recharge shots after you complete a dungeon, at least? In fact, every time you come back to the overworld, you get a new gun. Oh, so it's like a different one. Well, the same one. Oh, he just drops another one of the exact same gun in front of you, and you just... Let's just say this game involves a lot of deja vu. Huh, just like a sm small pile of guns build up over time, and just by the end of it, like, the entire town is just covered in... The... No. This is not like the ending to Triangle, unfortunately. Oh. That's too bad. Have you ever seen that movie? I have not. I... It, it involves a lot of time travel stuff, and at the end of it, there's like a billion of the same body on the ground. It's awesome. That's cool. That's really cool. I, I like those sort of teleportation things where, like, you create a clone of the person to teleport, and then you have, like, two of the people walking around, and then one of the clones has to be killed, of course. But then someone doesn't kill the clone because of ethics, and then the two clones see each other and go insane and, you know, murder each other, and then it's like, whoa, what's science done? And that's going to be this plot, isn't it? Maybe. Well, that sounds this... a lot like The Illusionist. Or, no, The Prestige. I get those confused. Huh. Don't die. That's a switch. It opens that thing. There we go. No, it's a secret door! There's going to be loot! Is there going to be loot? There's going to be plenty of loot, and... Pretty much anything we get in this first video won't matter at all. Yep. What? What? Why? Oh, no. <laughs> do you at least get levels? Do you yes, get we do. Levels? If you look, we're at level 2 right now. That number also means stuff. What number will we, will we be at the end of the game? Hopefully... By our third run, we should be getting up into the 20s or so. Huh. Are, are there, like, potions? There are potions. There are hearts. Door. There are hearts and there are bones. Hearts? Like, do you, do you eat the hearts and then gain the power of the monster whose heart it previously resigned, resided in? Well, we'll see if we find one around here. I'm pretty sure I might have already picked one up. If you look in the bottom right, I have a box called Don't Have. <laughs> that's... okay, that's descriptive. I understand what that item does by its name. It, okay. It's an item box. All boxes in this game have items contained in them, and the name of the box describes what the item's gonna be, so uh, our don't have box gives us an item that we don't have already. Oh, that okay. That's kind of intuitive, actually. So it's like a really randomized wish scroll. Pretty much. Are, are there, like, level limitations to it, though, so that you can't get the most powerful thing at the very first level? Actually, the RNG sometimes really loves you and does that. That's cool. I yeah. approve that gameplay design. We're that poisoned! Is... Oh no. Oh, How like... long does it take me to realize that? Uh, <laughs> A while. Do we, do we have an item that can help us recover from this status ailment that apparently is completely invisible? Where does it even show up? Look at our health. Oh, it's saying poison damage taken. Oh yeah, okay. there it is. Yeah, it just keeps saying it. <laughs> poison damage taken. Poison damage. A wild poison damage appeared. Yes. It is actually kind of stealthy, though. It took me a while to notice. Oh, hey, there's a heart. I, I saw a heart. It's a seed. What? It raises your vitality. Um, if you eat it, it raises your vitality. If you eat it while you're at full vitality, it gives you even more vitality. Okay, so it raises your maximum vitality. Okay. It, it raises the amount you currently have, so if I ate it right now, it'd go up by 20. So it, instead of being 55, it'd be like 70. Right. It's but true. if it was at 99, we would get 120 or something like that. See this little robot guy? He is yep. cool. He is pretty cool. Well, that too, but if you throw items at him, any two items, he will combine them. He's a fusion bot. This is the most ghetto method of items <laughs> I've ever missing. seen. <laughs> What's even going What did you get? I made meat out of a sword and a, a coat. <laughs> okay, this... 
is, is the fusion randomized or is it are there yeah the like... fusion is that there is a certain certain items will always make certain items but otherwise it's random like there I threw two bones and got a seed I'm gonna throw two more bones and get a meat and there's an enemy I should probably kill it so basically when you see these guys, you just chuck mountains of bones at them and you just get these piles of meat. You want to throw whatever is useless to you. You. Yeah. you just want to get rid of all your useless items at these guys. Can you throw your gun at it? You can throw your gun at it, and I believe your gun, gives, your gun combined with other things gives you rarer items, but I'm not oh. entirely sure on that. Oh. oh look, this is an NPC. I am Urum. I am Tummin. You're almost Yay, there. we're almost there. The game's almost over. It's kind of freaky. Now you must hurry this universe is like I like how the subtitles are sideways on the sideways head. Were they? I yeah. didn't even notice Earl. that. That's a good touch. Oh, this game is charm. It's a charming. Strange, it's it's a little flawed, but it is charming. A strange and I like it a kind lot. of blocky, awkward charm. <laughs> That guy's just gonna stand there with the bone because I don't have any other items to feed it. Sort of endlessly rotating. We're at 300 cubits underground right now. I don't know what a cubit is, so... It's Ooh, we got, we, we got a stamina. Besides coats and swords, you can also wear wings. Why this world has robotic little wing thingies, I don't know. Well, I mean, there was an angel. Clearly you are some kind of fallen angel who has lost his memory and will eventually defeat God. Speaking about that... There... Hidden doors. Yes, I... it's funny because they show up on the map anyway. And I almost... you almost always want to have the map on this overlay mode so that you can see where you're going. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, most dungeon crawlers. When I was playing Diablo 2, I mean, I would just always have my mini map out there. Mm. More games should have overlay maps, in my opinion. Yeah, it is a rather nice feature, as long as they don't get in the way. Th this map is nice and quiet. Don't You don't notice it much. Yeah, it's transparent, unless you're standing still, in which case it becomes opaque. I'm going to be describing these enemies in more variety as we come across them, but for, for this first part, they're not really out in full force. Yeah, they, they don't seem that challenging. No enemies have really... Oh, we stepped on a flame. Oh, we... okay, what, what does that do? There are items... there are plate items in this game, and depending on the side that they're on, they do different effects. A flame one, when you step on it, will just it emit flame throughout the room that you're standing in, it kill, uh, damaging anything it touches, except for who's ever standing on the plate. Okay, so they're kind of like traps, except inverse traps that are friendly and nice. And well, not you. always friendly, because enemies can step on plates as well. Ah... Are, are there any, like, abilities that push enemies around and stuff, and then you can, like, mm -hmm. push an enemy off the plate and then jump on it yourself, and you're like, it's my plate now, ha. Some plates have multiple uses, so you can totally do that. That's cool. Also, cool. I had to run the half away there because look at my health. I'm just ah, gonna eat this 59. meat. You got you got plenty, and you open up your box. And I found another heart. Who just puts a heart in a box? I mean... Don't... It's, it's, it's... Surgeons? No, wait, no. The people who prep surgeons, I guess. Also, yeah. well, I was a little scared here, so I threw down a lightning plate, but then I realized that we're on a second floor and none of the enemies are going to go up there, unless I goad them into it. Yeah. Oh, hey! Projectiles! Enemies haven't been firing those before. Yeah, really? um... These are the first enemies you encounter that shoot at you, I think. But they're also kind of tough, so I only kill a couple of them. Ooh, we got a summon rune. I I don't think I show it off, though. Um, runes do different amounts of things. I, uh, you read them and they do stuff. And They're scrolls, basically. Yeah, uh, a summon. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. I'll have to look at the item description next time around. But a summon, I think, summons all the enemies in the stage into the room you're in. Why didn't and, you use it? Oh. Well, I didn't want to die, for one. 
Well, clearly you do. I mean, come on, this is a roguelike. The whole point is dying. Losing is fun. Also, you, you, you might notice I also keep pausing anytime I want to check my inventory because it's one of those JRPG things where your inventory is on triangle. Huh. So controls... very awkward. Mm, the not for the story. most part. Um, attacking and, like, um, camera controls are pretty fine for the most part. It's just the inventory. Ooh, NPC. Well, luckily we haven't. That gun. No. Oh, sorry. Don't use that gun. Yeah, so Dr. Angelicus there doesn't want us to use the gun, but the angel guy told us to use the gun. And we don't even know what we're going to use the gun on, so I don't know. <laughs> Should we use it? Are you dead? At the end of the oh, game, there you are. the number of times you use the gun will determine your ending. And if you use it like once, then it will ruin your ending forever. But if you never ruin used it at all, then you'll like get the best possible ending. No, no. no Actually, you might be onto something. But re oh, okay, that's kind of neat. Okay. We're. I'm not sure exactly how it works. I'll have to look it up sometime. But I know what I'm doing for the most part. The gun destroys the fabric of reality itself. Whoa. I'm blind! Don't worry, I had an antidote. I'm fine. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Wait, an antidotes cure. A antidotes are just like cure alls in this game then? There um, are, um, whatchamacallit, uh, injectors. And an antidote cures uh, poison, but I had a special which cures everything. Huh. Okay, so like items can have magic effects um, attached to them. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're at the final floor. And remember what you were saying about you have to... Duty. Shoot the oh, we're gonna purify the world! Gonna purify the world! This is great. I would like you to meet God. We're gonna shoot God with our anime gun. God is an anime girl connected to a giant machine, apparently gonna shoot God with the anime gun, destroy the anime world. Oh yeah! This is getting more anime by the minute, my god. Uh, you mean her god. Or our god. Yes. So we shot God. Administering the Didn't we already do this? Prolactin decreasing. Increasing the dosage amount. Moving too fast. This one's a failure too. No, eyeball reaction is up. They're moving too fast. No, this one's special. Into the <laughs> it's no use. Let's move on to the next one. No, wait. Wait. Administering quasi cellulin. It's only partly cellulin, it's so it's quasi. Subsiding. It's working. Won't part of his simulation remain residually? He'll think it's just a prophetic dream. It'll just be like deja vu. Consciousness simulation. You think the implanted memory will hinder him? Oh, hey, name drop. There's no need for that. It's too hard. Oh, did it say his name there for a second? No, they said the title of the game. Baroque. Oh yeah. He's regaining consciousness. A baroque is a type of thing in this world. you want. This will be your real I would guess that it was a thing. Yes, indeed. I, I <laughs> like. I'm a big fan of things myself. I in, I enjoy d doing things to things. So we. We beat the game, so there's that. Okay, we're done. Great. Let, let's uh, let's call this a wrap up. Um, start the thread, close the thread, lock it up. There we go. Hmm. They want us to resume though, so maybe oh. there's after after the game material. New game plus. Hey, yes. look at that. We're starting all over again. New game plus time. And, and we're level one again. Oh.